This video will demonstrate the appropriate techniques used to insert a blind insertion airway device. Airway devices in this category include King LTD and King LTSD airways, laryngeal mask airways, pharyngotracheal lumen airways, or combi tubes, the Rausch Easy Tube, and AirQ LMAs. All devices are designed to be placed in the pharynx without need for direct laryngoscopy. For this video, we will be using the King LTSD airway. For specifics regarding other airway devices, please refer to medical direction and the manufacturer's user instructions. It is encouraged for all providers to review manufacturer's user instructions for any device used by their provider. It is also encouraged to seek input from your service's medical director and training officer for information regarding a particular device. Please note that this procedure is only indicated in patients who are unable to protect their own airway and do not have an intact gag reflex. Contraindiction to BIAD include intact gag reflex, known esophageal disease, and known ingestion of caustic substances. Begin by taking appropriate body substance isolation precautions. Ensure your patient is being pre-oxygenated via bag valve mask and simple adjunct. Gather all necessary equipment to perform this skill. Equipment should include oxygen, suction device, appropriately sized alternative airway device, stethoscope, and capnography. Please note that the King LTSD device used in this demonstration is a size 4 and is indicated for patients that are 5 to 6 feet in height. Also, this device requires an inflation volume of 50 to 70 milliliters. Be sure to refer to manufacturer's recommendations regarding sizing and inflation volumes for your device. Test cuff inflation and be sure to remove all air prior to insertion. Lubricate the distal tip of the device. For the King Airway, only lubricate the posterior surface to avoid blockage of the ventilation opening and accidental aspiration of lubricant. After pre-oxygenation, have your partner step out of the way. Remove the simple adjunct. Place the patient in a sniffing position. Hold the airway device in your dominant hand. With your other hand, apply a tongue slash jaw lift. Alterations in this technique will be necessary for patients with cervical spine precautions. King airways can be placed with the head in a neutral position using a scissor technique to open the airway. Begin insertion with the airway device rotated laterally as shown here. As the distal tip passes under the tongue, rotate device back to midline and advance without exerting excessive force. Insert the device to a depth that aligns the base of the connector with the teeth or gum line. Inflate the device to the appropriate volume as listed. Begin ventilation simultaneously withdrawing the airway until ventilation is easy and free-flowing. This technique is recommended by King Systems, makers of the King LTSD. Note depth mark as provided on the device and document. Confirm proper position via auscultation, chest rise and fall, and colorimetric CO2 device. It is recommended to place the device on continuous waveform capnography to ensure CO2 and waveform throughout treatment and transport. Remember, no waveform, no placement. Once placement has been confirmed and a waveform is noted on capnography, secure the device using tape or an approved commercial securing device. Bite blocks may be placed as well. Continue ventilation at the appropriate rate and volume. Special note, if using a King LTSD, the posterior opening allows for gastric access. Gastric tubes up to 18 FR may be used. Be sure to lubricate prior to insertion.